Hi, I'm June, the Happy Thai Girl. Today, on Cooking Made Easy with June, we're going to get a taste of India by making a coconut turkey curry. Doesn't that just sound so delicious? That's coming right up on Spanish Fork 17's amazing cooking show, brought to you by Macy's, the happy shopping store in Spanish Fork. Hi, welcome to Cooking Made Easy with June, brought to you by Macy's, the happy shopping store. That makes us so happy, of course, to be here. And I'm so happy to be here because I have a neighbor here. I love guests, I love friends and neighbors because we just talk and cook and everything. So we have Celeste Remington, and she's my neighbor. And she, um, we started bonding with food. Yes, and we did. We, I mean, we were friends and, you know, but then when you started asking me questions about a book you were starting to write. So tell me how that book, and we'll talk more about the book at the end, but right now, how did that tie in? Why did you start asking me about things? Well, I was writing this book called The Elephant's Girl that's coming out soon, okay. and um, I, I wanted to include Thai cooking in okay. it. <laughs> and, uh, it, and it's so fun to write about cooking and smells and tastes yeah, in a yeah. book, so readers can really um, feel that mm -hmm. and taste it and smell it as they're reading. And so, yes, I needed to ask you questions about that. And I had a copy of your book, your um, my Thai Food Made Easy, yes, <laughs> which I love. Okay. And my family loves and we love the recipes. Oh, yeah. And so that inspired some of the food that I talk about Ugh. in the story. And there's a scene in the story uh -huh. when the characters are joining together for dinner. And one of the characters had made a recipe inspired from your book. And as I was trying to... <laughs> I'm so... I'm so... <laughs> and as I was writing about it and trying to make it feel real so the uh -huh. readers would enjoy reading uh -huh. this scene, my mouth started watering, I started to get hungry. So I put my laptop away and I said, that's the recipe we're eating for dinner tonight. Yum! What recipe was it, real quick? It was the... You would have to tell me how to say it correctly, okay. but it was the green chicken curry. Oh, gang which, kill one. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay, but talk about curry. Yes. Today we're making a, a family recipe um, yes. that your kids love. Tell me a little bit about this and we can get started. So this is a recipe my family just really loves. My kids eat it up and they always just want more seconds, thirds. They just oh love it. Oh my gosh. Um, and I actually I, got the recipe from a friend years uh -huh. ago and I okay. tried it out. The kids just loved it and we've just gosh. used it ever since. And it's so easy. Well, that's what I would say. I was looking at it. Wow, this is easy. And I don't, I've never really had a lot of Indian curry. Because you know I, I eat the Thai curry, but I'm sure. But we have a Thai ver an Indian version of Thai curry. Yes. I mean a Thai version of Indian curry, which is uh -huh. our yellow curry, gang, the yellow curry. And so now I'm excited to try this. So we we're going to um, chop mm -hmm. onion, yes. and garlic. So go yes. ahead, talk okay. about. Go ahead. All right. So, so we chop up the the onion and uh, mince the garlic. Okay. And then so we're going the to cook the onion and the garlic with the ground turkey breast. This is so exciting at Macy's. I mean, I just went there and I, okay, uh, there it is. It's already ground and all. I did the turkey breast because I love that. I know what exactly it is. <laughs> Sometimes I get leery about some ground meat, you know what I mean? But yes. But Macy's, they have great stuff. So, so how much, um, so the garlic, it says here about a medium, or oh, two teaspoons of minced garlic. So I'm just gonna guess, it's, it doesn't have to be exact, does it? No, it doesn't have to be exact. And okay. it's really just kind of to your personal taste. So right. if you're doing it and you just really like a stronger garlic flavor, then yeah. by all means you can do more. If you like more onion, um, you can do more. So this is just a medium sized onion and I'm really having trouble <laughs> on camera getting it peeled. <laughs> This is so this funny. Is I, was, I should have shown you how to make it. Hey, you show it. me. You did it right. I'm not the chef. <laughs> no, but you cook all the time. I do your... cook all the time, so but I struggle. Looks like with it's this a little part. bit um, older, oh, but it's okay. But that's yeah. okay. So I, we cut each end. Yes. You know, and then I just cut it in half, right in and the then it, and that gives you a chance. Oh my gosh! I always do this. It's all. <laughs> so then I just take that away because okay. it's it's see how kind it's of kind of flimsy. chewy. Yeah. And it's gonna taste like that too. So, I mean, so I guess I could have gotten you another onion, but... Uh, we can but take we can, out that middle piece. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Just, so yep. then we can just take that out. Yeah. Yep. And this will, and this will, be, this will be plenty. Right. You can, so tell me, like, yeah, how much... So it's mostly for flavor, right? Right, it's mostly for flavor. And, and so... It, it's the yeah, little bit of vegetable, I suppose, okay. in the dish. <laughs> you can always add more. Yeah. You can add peppers or oh, yeah. so something I was thinking, as well. Yeah, I was looking at it, the color. I mean, the ingredients. There's not a lot of ingredients. Right. And so there's probably no color to it, so... Right. It's not very colorful. It's very tasty, but yeah. um, adding so, some pepper mm -hmm. with it would like, give it some nice so, color. Yeah. But have you ever tried adding any other vegetables with this? before and I don't want to 
a lot do of times something and make it change the. I flavor. haven't. I haven't actually tried adding bell pepper to okay. it. Although knowing how it tastes, I think it would be really good. I do, I do think I would. You know like what? It. I was thought I was thinking about adding, but let's let's do it like what you make. Let's okay. do it exactly like okay. how you make it, and we okay. can. Even though it may not be a, the prettiest color, I'd like to taste it first. Well, do you know I'm what I mean? Yes. Yes. And I agree. And then we can add okay. um, different things, but I'd love to taste. Uh, one thing that my family will do too is sometimes we'll serve it with uh, green salad on the side or oh. something like that to give it some, you give mean it you, some color. Uh -huh. Oh, so you serve it with um, rice. With rice, over rice. Over uh -huh. rice, and then you would have a little salad. Oh, maybe right. we could do that. Maybe we can do a little salad to present with it. Okay. I think I have some tomatoes in the fridge. Okay. So <laughs> That sounds good. Well, we're chopping these onions and uh, garlic. Let me, let's really quick. Um, I know your book, what, tell, what is your book called again? It's called The Elephant's Girl. The Elephant's Girl. And that's yes. why you asked, there were there are some Thai, have Thai children in it, and then that's how we got tied together. That's how we got that's it together. We got tied together. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, that's, that's not very funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, well there's but, a family in the zoo, that uh -huh. the story takes place in a zoo, and the family that, um, that the girl, the main character, is really good friends with, uh -huh. um, they're employees and, and do a lot of work at the zoo, uh, they have Thai heritage. And oh, so yeah, that yeah, was yeah. another reason. That oh, we'll talk more about the story. That. That'd yeah. be awesome. But um, let's go ahead and start this. Um, is is okay. this? No, this I'm is more slow. than two I'm teaspoons. Yeah. No, 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 that's no, perfect. No, no. I this think that's good. great. Okay. Yeah, so, so you can... want to add a little bit of oil? Yes. Okay. Yes. I should let you do this. What am I doing? Here, you go do the oven. It's the onion. Oh, is okay. it good for the onion? Yes. Okay, you go ahead and start the saute and everything. Because this is your recipe. You can show us. Okay, so just a little bit. You just want a little bit. And that's a non-stick yeah. pan, so that makes it a little bit nicer. So do you want to do the garlic and onion first, or do you want to add the turkey first? Or how do you do that? Um, <laughs> just, just like, <laughs> stumped me on my own recipe. Really? What do you, what do you normally do? I, know, I normally just put it. I always says that. You just I know. Dump it I just together. dump it in. Okay, yeah. just dump I it in. I just get it started and then, yeah. and then crumble the meat into it. You want all these onions, right? Yes. So you're going to brown the onion and the garlic together before you add the turkey. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So tell, talk to us about the consistency that you want it to be. Well, you want to saute the vegetables, the onion and the garlic, until they're starting to get a little translucent oh, and looking okay. a little bit. So if you want it like that, we'll cook. I'm going to turn it up a little higher. Okay. Okay. So um. So when you say your kids, you have two children. I do. And I have they a boy and a girl. So <laughs> talented. You're this is a talented family. This is one of those like you write books, you also sing and you what else? You you were talking about screen playwriting and you like that too. Yes. Um, um, in our ahead. family we like to create, I, I guess you would yeah. say. Just um, very much like you, you like to create um, what were we? You create beautiful things and beautiful things for people to eat and delicious food and books. Oh, I don't know. It just kind of happened. But, but your kids, though, like uh, Maxwell and Victoria, they both do. Tell them a little bit about them. Thank So my son is an actor, and he's been in both musical theater and in film. Oh, I mean, and I'm not talking about just on a high school level. He's like... <laughs> The Tuacon? Or yes, he was the Tuacon. He was in the regional premiere of Matilda the Musical. <gasps> yes. Wow. And what are some of his big films? Is it, are, are they? Uh, he's not been in any major films. Uh -huh. They're more local things. Okay, he's okay. done a lot of acting for Imagine Learning, which is a software oh, company. Yes. And they produce educational software. Yes, because I. That they I, use in school. Yeah, I, yeah. I've used Imagine Learning because. I'm a school teacher now. <laughs> yeah, so you know about it. So I know about it. This so. is looking about the okay. about how okay. much I cook awesome. it first. Okay, so let's let's start the turkey. Okay. And then we're going to take a little break. Okay. So what we're going to do, go, go ahead, tell us about oh, so turkey this is awesome. Macy's, thank you. Ground so, turkey breast. Okay. So it's healthy. Or you it's, could use ground turkey. You can use you can use Pork? a lean ground turkey or okay. exclusively turkey the turkey breast. And okay. it's very healthy. It's a good meat. And, and you, know, you could use pork and and they, well, how about ground chicken? I think that you probably could. Yeah, that's very similar to ground turkey. That's so we true. Could use that too. That's okay. true. Okay. I, I haven't tried it that way, but I think it would be really good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So so you're going to brown this to like all the way cooked or all the way cooked until it's crumbly. Okay. And, and it's cooked mm -hmm. completely. Yes. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back. Um, 
we're going to move on to the next step, which will be our curry sauce. Yes? Yes, yes the sauce. Okay. So yes. you have to come back and, and do this. It's, it's so far, it's been so awesome. So, come back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we finished browning yes. the turkey. But we realized, I didn't realize that the pan is not big enough. So I brought another pan mm -hmm. because yep. we're going to, go ahead, tell. We're, we're gonna, gonna make this sauce and okay. we're gonna cook it in oh, there. This is hot. Oh, is it? Is it? Oh, the end is not hot. <laughs> but I always burn myself. I, I do it all the time. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. After the sauce so is you finished, then we're going to want to add it into the meat. And so we're going to want a bigger pan. Oh, that's not very hot, yeah. So let's go ahead and dump this okay. in here. There you go. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. Gosh, this smells so good. <laughs> Again, I keep saying, I wish you guys were all here smelling. It smells really good. Then we'll have to let, we'll have to let Celesta describe the taste. Okay, the smell. I will do describe my Describe the smell. Come on, author. Describe the smell. <laughs> well, it's difficult, it is difficult to describe without using the words that are actually, what the food actually is. It smells <laughs> like onion and garlic, and yeah. it's very savory. But look savory. at the caramely. You know, like when you guys, yes. I think they can relate to the, the verb that you utilize because they've browned this before and the garlic right. before. Right. So, but you add the turkey. Okay, so let's go ahead and do, you're doing the sauce. Yes. The sauce okay, now. so tell me. Yes. So for the sauce, we add an entire can of okay. coconut milk. Which is, oh, I love coconut milk. So good. And so I brought a spatula because we don't want to waste it. And I got this at Macy's. This is my okay. favorite brand. Let me see. Of coconut milk is cacao. Oh, I need to try the, that. What, what brand do you use? A different, I actually like, don't remember, but that's not, not the one the I've one. tried. And so I thought you used to try a that. different, it's called that Taste looks, of Thai. And it's, yes, I oh have Oh my gosh, smell this. And then t I think you should taste it. It's, it's 100%. I've tried the Taste yes. of Thai. Uh -huh. No offense, I'm just being honest, but I'm, I'm not endorsing anything. I don't get paid for these guys either. But I'm just telling but you the truth. This is a really good, uh, you can yeah. tell the consistency. Yeah. It's very nice. A Taste of Thai is made in Thailand too, but this one tastes amazing, like real fresh coconut. So I'm going to use a spatula. Go ahead. So this makes up the bulk of the sauce is the okay. coconut milk. Okay. And then we have a couple other seasoning items that we add. Okay, uh, which are? Chili sauce. Okay. And oh, this chili sauce. Yes, the chili sauce. Okay, how much? And, sorry, I'm going to need... I always oh, check yeah, my recipe oh, no, at home. No, go ahead. Two, two teaspoons. It's not a chili sauce. It's a paste. A chili, chili paste. paste. And it it's doesn't look really pastey. It looks a little bit... Um, Does it? It looks kind of liquidy. That's okay. But... That's okay. But it's okay. And but it looks like a chili... We're yeah. going to want to heat this... Oh, oh, Over yes. low. I know. It is, I it's to, low. Okay. Oh, it's on low. Yeah. Okay, let me go get a spoon, measuring spoon. Go ahead. Keep talking. All right. And then after that, this, this will be two teaspoons of the chili paste. And then we'll be adding curry powder and ground ginger as well. So you'll need those. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had it all out and then I washed it and then I... I will just open these while we wait for the Here we go. Yeah, measuring go ahead. spoons. Okay. So how much ch chili paste? So need? two teaspoons of chili paste. Two teaspoons. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reach over. That looks so good. Yes, that does. It gives it, it gives it a fun color too. Okay. Goes from creamy white to <laughs> a, almost a pink when you add <laughs> when you add the chili paste into it. And then we need okay. one teaspoon of ground ginger. Okay, go ahead. From Macy's. This is a Macy's brand of Food Club. Mm, even the curry, smell that curry powder. Yes, and then curry oh, powder. I love, this reminds me of all these spices. Um, we were in Thailand years ago, but maybe five or six years ago, and we went on the uh, floating market. Oh, and oh my goodness, they had this one booth that I was like, I wish I could jump out of the boat and go and look. They had like all these spices, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh my gosh, that's one of my favorite things, and I don't know how they shop like that you'd have to stop the bow and it gets rocky and you oh know, we, sounds, did, we did really i know i would love so to. fun it's so fun it's so fun and um so i don't know if I we want to more time rent this because it was in the ginger oh oh it's okay yeah, it's okay yeah all it's right fun. so then with the curry powder then we want one okay. and a half teaspoons of okay. the curry powder so i just added a half and i'll okay. add the one teaspoon and this smells amazing Ugh. the mm. turmeric and the spices that go into this yeah. i think it's is it cinnamon i think yeah, I, I don't think know. they I've put. Never, I never read the ingredients. The spices in curry and ground curry powder. Yeah, is it? really interesting. Yeah, turmeric. Uh, turmeric. As for color, salt, red pepper, and, and other that says spice spiced extractives. But I've I've mm. seen 
some curry powders will tell you, you exactly know, what, what the, the spices, spices are. are. I feel like it's That's some awesome. cinnamon, possibly. Ooh. Um, at least the one that I have at home. I okay, so you have that on though, right? Yes. And it's that, oh, soy sauce? Or other and we need now? to add soy sauce, three tablespoons okay. of soy sauce. And that's it. That's it. Oh my goodness. This is way easy. So it's always interesting to saute your onion and garlic and yeah. add your meat, but not season it with any salt and pepper, but you really don't no. need to because of what's in the sauce. Right, so that's one. So one, two. So that's a little bit under when you were scooping, but is that okay? I think we're okay. Does it matter yeah, if it's I'll make that okay, one extra that's perfect. Fold. Okay, there we okay. go. I think it'll be fine. Okay. So is that like you want it on low? Let's turn it up a let's, little bit. Let's use. We don't, we don't uh, want to heat it too fast. Do you want to do like a whisk or something? Yeah. Okay. Do you want a whisk or do you want to? Would this work? I feel like a whisk might a whisk? be a good yeah. idea because the spices get kind of okay. clumpy in there. All know? right. Okay. So how do you normally do it? Do you do it on low? Um, I do it on medium. Oh, okay. Medium so or medium, medium low, as long as you're stirring it so that you don't over okay. overcook your coconut milk. Okay. And so how now? So the turkey, we, it didn't take long to brown. It was about maybe five, five or six minutes. Maybe five minutes. So yeah. how about how about this? Do we bring it to a boil or we, what? We bring it to a boil. Oh. So just however long it takes, and and you could definitely increase the the heat as mm -hmm. long as you're watching it and you're stirring it. Right. Um, because it's the creamy and milk. Right. So do you let it boil a long time? It says here. Just bring it to a boil and, and then. Boil. Uh, okay. Oh, and then you cook five more minutes. Okay. Wait, oh, no, after, I'm sorry, after no. You, add this you just mixture? bring it to a boil and then you add it to the meat mixture and cook five more minutes. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so um, I think we're going to take another little break okay. so that we can have a little extra time maybe um, to talk about your book and everything and taste Sounds and good. everything. Okay. So when we, we're going to cook this up, and when you come back, um, we're going to put the sauce, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure something <laughs> out. <laughs> uh, we'll put the sauce and everything together and, and simmer it. Yes. A little bit longer. Okay. And then that's it. So, okay. So, um, come right back. Okay. All right. Welcome back. It's already um, what we did Well, you guys were gone, or while <laughs> we were gone. <laughs> um, it, we put the sauce together mm -hmm. and it simmered. And, and we have some rice ready. And that's all it is. That was so right. easy. Yes. Okay, so um, I'm going to just put, this is for the pictures, and put a little bit of rice there. That looks okay. I'm going to leave that. <laughs> That's pretty. Yeah? Okay. All right, so I'm going to wipe that up. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the curry on it. You want to do it? Well, it, you, you know how you want to design it so it's pretty for the pictures. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm looking at this. It's not really saucy. It's um, it kind of uh, it, it thickens a, a little bit, yeah. Um, and you can you can cook it down a little bit if yeah. it's too liquidy for you. But it also I think it absorbs into the meat and and it just makes it really I wonder really um, tender and juicy. Good. Let <laughs> me see if I have some parsley. I'm just gonna put a little parsley on top. I mean I know this is not that's not Italian seasoning. Um, I thought I wonder how we can make it look pretty. Oh, but while we're I'm looking for this little parsley, why don't you tell us? I'm looking at my fridge for a fresh one. But tell us about your book. About my book? Yes. Yes, this is so exciting. So, so it's called The Elephant's Girl. Okay, go ahead. You want me to hold it? No, no, go hold it. I'm going to get something to garnish called the thing. The Elephant's Girl, and this is being released on May 19th um, from Random House Children's Books and Crown Books for Young Readers. And so this right here is an advanced reader copy that they use for okay. reviewers and book bloggers and things like that. And but I got to read one. And June got to read it already. It's so good. Thank so you. So good. It's a young adult book and it's it's mm -hmm. a fantasy, right? Tell so it's technically considered the magical realism genre. So it's oh, okay. a contemporary story that takes place in our modern world, but there's a little twist of magic in it, as you know. From yes. It. So it, it wouldn't be so considered good. full fantasy, just a little twist of magic from our regular world. And so, well, you know, let's do we want to talk about the food? Yes. The okay. Snacks? Well, so. let's, um, let, I'm going to, I wanted something. Oh, do you want to cut? Yes. And so sometimes it's really <laughs> nice for a side dish because yeah. if you want to add some color, if you add color to your diet, um, yeah. you can do a side salad. So, so I'm actually, yeah, so I'm going to just, um, Put a, make a strawberry. I always have kale in my <laughs> fridge. So I'm just going to do a little strawberry kale salad mm -hmm. to go on there. 
<laughs> I know, that's kind of weird, but and I just had a little vinaigrette to go on the side, so I'll just do right there. And something, so else, some color. something else you can also do is you could saute um, fresh cut broccoli and oh, zucchini yes. with some salt and pepper and olive oil and that's, then put that on the side. That's true. Like mm -hmm. in Thai curry, we, have, we do that also. We can just put it on veggies. Yes. So anything mm -hmm. would be awesome. But we have rice here and we have this here. I, mean, I want to taste it. Yeah, let's taste it. So, that, um, so I'll just put a little bit in here. That, you can have that one. Okay. The rice is a little bit sticky today. I was, it's kind of hot right off. Of. And, then, um, and then we'll talk um, about where... What do you want to talk about? Where we can get it? Yes, um, I'd love to tell you just a tiny bit what the story is about. Oh, that's and where right. You can, that's right. Where you can get okay, it. Put this yeah. here. So, okay. So let's taste this first. Oh, it smells so good. I'm so excited. Yeah. I hope you like it. I'm sure I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the ingredients, so that's huge. Right. Right. Mm. Okay. Take a, um, I have not take too big of a bite. Mmm, that is delicious. <laughs> this is another new dish I'm gonna make all the time. <laughs> you guys, you know how quick that was? So you know what it's I love so about yummy. it? It's the the chili paste gives it a definite kick. So you have a spice to it, and the curry is just a lovely flavor, such a lovely blend of spices in the curry. This is not and really like a soup. It's, um, because there's no chicken broth, and my, and my Thai curry is right. more soupy because we have a little mm -hmm. chicken broth, and so it goes. But this is so good, and look at how easy that was. I could easily see this with, um, you're right, like maybe add some steamed broccoli, mm -hmm. and you can serve that with it. Or I have the salad here, but you could do whatever. Something else I was thinking too is um, some of your curry recipes include sweet potatoes, mm. and I think sweet potatoes would be good with this because the creaminess of it. Yes, it because would go really the yellow nice. curry. The Thai version of the Indian curry is um, we add potatoes in it. So I think uh, potatoes in here would be so delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is really, really good. Let's talk a little about what you book and then okay. um, and where we can get and all that. But go ahead and tell the story real quick. Okay. So The Elephant's Girl mm -hmm. uh, is about an orphan who is found after a devastating tornado mm -hmm. asleep next to the African elephant in a zoo. And she doesn't know who she is or where she came from. She doesn't remember her past. So she ends up growing up in the zoo. Mm -hmm. And she discovers that she has a special connection to the African elephant who saved her life. Yeah. <laughs> so it's for well, animal I... lovers. It's for anyone who wants a good friendship story because she has a really good friendship with the boy who's the there's zookeeper's little... son. And then there's a little mystery in there. I yes. Give it away. There's a mystery. So her connection with the elephant actually leads her on an adventure with her best friend, mm -hmm. Fisher who is the zookeeper's son, and he's a baseball player, and there's oh. a lot of fun stuff in there for boys, too. And I just picture yeah. him looking like my son because he's half Thai or quarter Thai or something like that. He is. Was he's that? half Thai or a quarter. Thai. Yeah. He might be a quarter Thai. Yeah. Yes. Um, and and uh, they go on this adventure. It ends up being a treasure hunt and a mystery, and um, there's ghosts, and it ends up being it's... something that leads her to finding out something about her past. And me, I just read it so quick. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so awesome. And I, what I love is there's a little, I was so surprised. Like there's like under the acknowledgement, there's yes. <laughs> our names and the Tysons and the Amy and yes. uh, my. <laughs> Put your so name cool. in the acknowledgement. I know I have a book and then she has a book. and Exactly. It's so fun. Well, I, all... I learned so much about your family and about um, cooking and about Thai culture and everything from talking to you and so it was just it added I feel like that is so much to the book and I appreciate this is the benefit of, that. <laughs> benefits of being having a neighbor friend who writes a put get your name on your more published stuff <laughs> I love it okay yes. tell me where we can get we so can... It, it's available for pre-order already oh. it comes out officially mm -hmm. May 19th but you can pre-order it at my website celestaremington.com Okay, yeah. and you have an Instagram also. I do have an Instagram. It's uh, Celesta underscore Remington okay. on Instagram. Okay, so you have a website and, and, and then, now you, this is a big publisher. Yes, that's with Random House Children's Books. So it's available to order through them, but there's a link for that on my website to just that's make it easy, easier. easy to get to. You guys, this is a legit, this is legit. Mine <laughs> local, but then, you know, <laughs> it's so awesome. Um, and then your next thing. You're working next on another thing. I'm working book. on another book that will come out next year She's just like, from the oh. same publisher. Any teasers on that book? Oh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. I have to wait for my come publisher's on. approval on no, that no. <laughs> Well, I can say that it okay. has to do with more animals. 
more okay. storms. And the main character is a boy. Aww. And it also uh, is inspired by the Tuacon Amphitheater. Okay, hey, you George. guys, you so. gotta start following <laughs> Celesta. This is so exciting. Thank you. And shout out to your family. Yes, I want to say <laughs> I want to say hi to my daughter Victoria. She's a she's an amazing, talented mm. dancer and on a dance team at BYU. And my son Maxwell, who's an actor yes. and a student here in Springville, and um, and then my husband Happy. Paul who yeah. is an amazing guy that holds all this creativity craziness together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys go to Macy's. Yes. You go this and one day maybe that, you, that book will be in Macy's. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, for sure, the Elephants Girls author is here and she made amazing, delicious curry, Indian curry that you've got to try. Go to Macy's, get the ingredients to make it and eat it. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having me. So, much, so fun. much fun. Yes. Okay, till next time, happy cooking and we'll see you again.